to the wonderful Holy Roman Empire. Ah, beep. Ah, I don't, I don't need a beep right this second. Right, do you have any, any idea what the heck we were doing last time? Uh, no, I forgot how to play as well, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, well, let's just figure out what we're going to do then. Do I have any claims I can press? I do not have any claims. I'm not in any wars, so... Not in any wars. That's that's a rare a rare thing for us. I know. Oh, I can add to my retinue. Um, who can who can we go for? Were we going to go for Africa? Seems like a thing that we might have considered doing. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I think you were considering that. Oh, except they were allied with someone, weren't they? Uh, probably. Allied with Ilmen and Egypt. Uh, he's only a prince of Egypt, though. And he's got zero troops, the prince of Egypt. Prince Al-Mansur, the unready. So, yeah, we could go for Africa. Can you, can you declare war on them? Is the question. Oh, hey, now. Oops, sorry. Yeah, are you, are you do you have uh, the holy war cast us against Africa? Um, yeah. Okay. And the question is is Yugyar is Yugyar the They're same? Mazdan. Sorry again? They're Mazda and whatever that is. They are, you're right. The question then becomes if I declare war for the holy war like all it says is nearby Sunni rulers now does that mean independent Sunni rulers or does it just mean no anyone can join <laughs> so all those pesky little dukes and counts and yeah. stuff could from Yugir could join yeah because oh. they're no, no, I see what you mean. Because um, it's only the top guy who is Mazdan. Everything under him is not. <laughs> so does that mean the c country... Well, what's your cast is your holy war on him? On... On Yugir. On Yugir. Is it Mazdan? Probably. So then yeah. I'll probably class Yugir as Mazdan, so... Nearby Manichaean rulers might be asked to, might ask to join Kagan Bills to defend their faith. Oh no, it does say like Sunni rulers, so a ruler would be anyone, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, I'm I would be not risking that. Hmm. It's kind of annoying if we can't really go for Ugear because they're so friggin' huge because they're a horde. Yeah. And we can't go for the other guys. Although, actually, to be fair, I've kind of got nearly as many troops as Ugear. 
Are they in any other wars at the moment? They're in many other wars at the moment. No, they're again in two other wars at the moment. Sunni uprising, a conquest, some other stuff. So then I guess the question is, do we go for Uyghur, do we go for Africa, or do we do something else? I don't know. I need to let my libraries recharge. I didn't realize they're so depleted. Yeah. I could I could pr press de jure ducal claims against people, I guess. Although I am also threatening. Hmm. Let's let's unpause for now and see what happens. this guy to my court, make him a commander. Can I arrange a marriage for this guy? Because he, he can take more than one wife. Yeah. Cool. My counselor is idle. Do I have any peace treaties at the moment? Truce with them, with them, with them. I could declare an Austrasia for some de jure claims. And that defense pact is disbanded. I don't want to be a commander. Sorry? I was talking to our liege and saying I don't want to be a commander. Uh. Where is Duke Lando of Aquitaine? Well, half the point of my acquaintance, Prince Justinus, was executed. By, oh, my son in law. She's the regent of Thrace now. Oh, right, because there's son, I see. Well. I build anything? Already building stuff. I forget the downsides of having elective succession. Do you, do, you, do you get negative? You get negative opinions of you if you um if you have too many elector titles, don't you? Uh, yeah, I think so. Blech.
to move your thing to high crown authority to get primogeniture. Seems awfully harsh. Like, everyone's vassal opinion is minus 20. Jeez. Right, what was the advice I was giving out earlier? Look, look and see who is weak. Africa, tell me about yourself. Oh, do you know, I kind of just want to go for Africa and see what happens. They're already in a war. And they're losing that war. What do you think? Is that just a, a drop of the mic in, in frustration? Uh, almost spilt water. Um, could have, would have been a, would have been a disaster. It wouldn't have, yeah, it wouldn't have been great. I, I do agree. Ah, righteous imprisonment. Count Goodleback. Uh, what's he doing? Fabricate to claim on the duchy of... Just stop your plot. Just, just stop that right now. Don't know who owns that duchy, but I can't be bothered sorting it out, so... Can't ransom any of those prisoners. Well... can fabricate a claim on the county of Schweiz. Why do they want to do that? Declare war on my wife, apparently. All right. What's she done? I don't know. <laughs> so I, someone has a weak claim to it. Uh. My grandson needs a tutor. He's a bastard of not my dynasty. Who's his mother? My daughter, who is married. Okay, I think she had some bastard children before she got married. She's only 38, so I'm not going to worry about that for much longer. Well, he will be educated by the finest martial people in the land. A new realm. What? So oh, hold, <laughs> hold on. Oh, no. The nomads are no longer nomads. And they're the Arabian Empire. They stretch from here to there. Well, why is you're still a thing? I guess... I guess because... <sighs> they still have their events on trips. Oh, God. Someone else will have taken over, like, leadership of the tribe. What was I doing there? I was arranging a guardian, wasn't I? Oh, man. Oh, man. 
Okay. Does that make things any better or worse for us? It makes things slightly better, doesn't it? Because, yes, the Arabian Empire is Mazdan, so we can declare war on them without, the holy war on them without anyone else joining in. Well, anyone who's, unless there's any other Mazdans nearby. Which I suspect there's not. Manikin, yeah, Yugir could join in. But they are all the way over there. Hopefully they don't count as a nearby ruler for the purposes of that. <laughs> they don't even have that many troops. You do. Uh, I guess that guy kept all the events. When did these event spawn troops go away? Because like, they still got 12,000 of them. Don't well, 12,000 troops in general. And some higher troops. He's got 2,600... Sorry, 2,200... God, that's disgusting wealth. I know the wealth that I have quite often is disgusting, but that's just disgusting. Caballero. Ugh. Oh, man. So anyway, the question is whether we, we go for them now that they're no longer, you know, a thing. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Oops. Or whether we don't. Uh, well, I'm in a war just now, so... Oh, who are you in war with? Uh, Belgrad. Belgrad, okay. I guess the time to do it would be before that guy dies. Oh, their troops are decreasing at the moment, actually. Their vassal troops are going down, I think, maybe? Well, he's got rid of some titles. Are they actually going down? They're going slightly down. He's only got 40 Demen troops. He's got one retinue troop. 5,800 event spawn troops still. See, if he didn't have those 58 event spawn troops, like, I'd be pulling the trigger right now. Yeah. <sighs> They're probably, like, disgustingly good troops as well. Hordy... Gallopy, kill my guy troops. Is the capital there? Is that that cap? Is that no? It's not the capital. That's the Duchy of Berry. Never mind that. My suggested law passed. The Lords of Alamanian Revolt have approved the institution of normal city taxes. Thanks, Alamanian Revolt. Didn't know revolts could pass laws. Yeah, that guy. Oh, we're in a war. Turanian holy war for Orléans. Ah, it looks like we're at war with the Arabian Empire anyway. <laughs> so the question is, right, our realm has just gone to war with them, um, with Gargamel. No, wait, what? No, it's just some it's a defense. French count. I see. It's it, we're we're not we haven't declared war on them. It's just one of them. Okay, fine. The other reason to declare, I know I keep banging on like this, is he has no d real demand trips, but he will slowly recharge up to two, two, two and a half thousand odd. So mm -hmm. I don't know. 
don't know if it's worth going from now while he doesn't have those regenerated or I don't know I don't know I mean those event troops might be somewhere where he can't even use them they might be over like edge of the map in Ugir yeah that would be handy it'd be really useful to know where they are because like I mean, the Arabian Empire goes all the way down to Blinken, like the Gulf of Oman, and is that the Gulf of Oman? Persian Gulf, sorry. Gulf of Oman. Oh, nearly the Gulf of Oman. It does go to the Gulf of Oman. My mistake. It goes nearly to India, basically. Mm, so it's quite big. Yeah, if their troops are all the way over there, I would argue that what's he going to do when we come for you? What worries me slightly is the 9,000 odd trips you'd get from vassals because mm. they would spawn there. I reckon the next um, the next guy well hang on that's the other question who is the successor to this guy, Prince Bilsh, who is also Minikian. Okay, that's fine. Another righteous imprisonment, you say. What's this guy done? Fabricating a claim in the Duchy of Alemannia. Knowledge of improved keeps in modern Ferrato increased to level two. How exciting. See, if I could get all my vassals to have a positive opinion on me of me, I could um I could make the lands uh could make could make just the kingdom elective to stop it gavel kinding apart. Yeah, that would be quite good. But then I don't know what the penalties are for too many elector titles. So I'm going to start at a lower crown authority thing. Maybe one mat war.
is about 16,000 troops. One of my vassals has declared war on France. All right. The whole thing? No, just on his claim for the county of Sens. Which is kind of fair enough. I can offer to join his war. Claim Artois. What? What? What war is he in? All oh, right. So one of sorry, right, he declared war for one of his vassal's claims on Artois. See, trying to keep up with this, it's. Where even is Artois? I know that's where they make Stella. I couldn't tell you. Oh, I see they're sieging. So it's there. Is it county? Well, there's no duchy of Artois, so that's just one thing. Okay. See, trying to keep up with all this stuff. Right, I will keep an eye on that that war. And uh, looks like they start. Lo they're they're starting to lose. I'll maybe I'll maybe help them out. Because why not? So I was seeing in that war, attackers, my vassal Duke Rodolf, defenders, the King of West Francia, the Duke of Toulouse, who he's allied to, and King Kajartan of Lancaster. <laughs> England, what, what are you doing? Lancaster, it must be a petty kingdom. Petty kingdom of Lancaster. Quick, somebody tell Noob Face. <laughs> ah, Scotland's being ruled by Norway. Oh my goodness. Denmark is the most serene republic of Denmark. <laughs> ruled over by Gandalf or Gandalfer. Prince Mayor Gandalfer of Denmark. Oh. Who is pagan? Because of course he is. Why can I imprison this guy? He's leader of the revolt, revolt but he likes me. He's a known murderer. He killed someone. That'll be why. Uh... Uh, I'll hold that one in my back pocket. Oh no, my steward's dead. You collected so many tithes. And there's a peasant revolt as well. Hold 
bunch of people imprisoned. Very confused about what's going on. Let me just find a steward real quick. Mm -hmm. Buddhist, you say? Yeah, why not? Duchess Altruda, the Lady of Kuln, revokes the County of Cleve from Adrian de la Tour Dupin. Dupin, maybe, in fact, instead of Pan, sorry. Uh, and Chief Adrian has also been imprisoned. And someone's just been s exposed to having a plot. Oh, gosh. Someone's founded a faction. How are we losing to this peasant revolt? All oh, right, they took a thing. Is that you going for them? Yeah. Just so that your army has something to do? Yeah. I got the pop-up because they were in my line and I thought... Ah, fair enough. I hope it's my thing to deal with rather than the emperors. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not good. Damn. Damn, damn. What is it? My... Damn. Damn. Oh, that's all right. Hmm. My court chaplain um, died, and he was the preferatus for the college. For the papacy, sorry. Do I have any other? I thought one of my. Give me a sec. Vassal, vassal, vassal. Hmm. Do I really not have any other vassals who are cardinals? I thought I had someone who was a cardinal. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The papacy is falling down. This is the problem with having... Yeah, he's dead, there's no voting for him. This is the problem with having lands that you don't really know what's going on. Well, he technically is my vassal. So why can't I say uh, he can be my court chaplain then? Oh, it's because it's he's the court chaplain of someone else. Oh, this game confuses me. Confuses me so much. Should have done that, should I? 
Oh well. Do people have to be landed as a count to be able to press their claim and they'll still remain a vassal? No, uh, even if they're a baron. Oh, okay. Any, anything, well, as long as they don't outrank you, they should still remain a... should still remain a vassal. Is my understanding. Right. Well, I assassinated the Preferatus, but even the new Preferatus is not uh, not anyone that not anyone that's mine. Well, that was seven hundred quid well spent. Ah, this guy has offered me a eunuch, you say. Wait, what? How did you get offered a eunuch? Uh, merchant caravan event. He's pretty good, actually. What eunuchs are useful? Are they, though? I don't know. <laughs> well, he will be my quirked eunuch. I think you're, you're right there. his cardinal score I see right okay so Adriano who is Adriano Why can't I make that guy my court chaplain? Hmm. Well, just have to hope that uh, someone else dies. County of Bourbon has converted to Catholic. Don't know what it was before. <laughs> hmm. 
kind of hoping that he'd be easier to assassinate than that. I was about to use... I, I asked for money from the Pope and then was going to use that money to assassinate the expected next Pope. <laughs> uh, yeah. For, uh, who needs the money in need of the feast? Pretty much. Who did you declare war on? Uh, Wallachia. Uh, Wallachia. Load of characters in prisons. Castle inheritance warning. Crusader ca Okay, hold on right now. Ah, uh, they said the name of the game. <laughs> Crusader Kings. The Teutonic okay. Order. So this means... Deus Vault. We get Crusader Treat, which is all I'm after. <laughs> yep. Set one foot in Jerusalem and then go home. Back on that damn boat. <laughs> Keep the boat's engine running. <laughs> uh, Boats don't have engines in this period, but keep it running anyway. Yeah. What they could have done oh. is like attach flippers to a horse and submerge that half in the water. <laughs> that, that's enough to, to propel a boat, you say? Yeah, horsepower and all that. How many oh. knights are there? What? It's not this game that they get, like, actual land. No, they can. They can? Oh, God. Well, if I get asked, then turn in them away. And it can actually be quite useful to give them land because that means that you're, they va you vassalize them and you don't have to pay them. Yeah, that's Crusader Kings, but there's no crusade going on at the moment. Can we request crusades, or is it only the Pope who can call? Oh no, we can. Oh no, we can request crusades. Yeah, no, we you can. see? <laughs> oh really? Oh really? Request crusades. For the whole of Arabia. Ah, only kingdom le level titles, unfortunately. Kingdom of Arabia. So kind of limits it. Also, the game's running really slowly for me at the moment. Uh, have you unpaused it? No. I'll try unpausing it for a second. Yeah, again. Really bad frame drop. See here. Everything's really laggy. Let's. Let's close that request crusade window and see if that speeds things up. It does. So requesting crusade slows the game down. Yeah. Paradox. Whiz, please fix. It's probably because it's trying to show the outline of something that's friggin' huge. Kingdom of Iraq, Kingdom of Jerusalem. Holy. Oh, really? You would actually just say yes to any of them. Do you want to, well, do you want to keep going until your war is done and then we can come back to, come back to a crusade maybe? Sure. I'll try and speed run this one. Uh, I can help. That would help. Send my rat rat new over. Oh. What's up? <laughs> like as soon as you join they just hired some uh... I see that. Oops. Well, I'm nothing if not true to true to my word. Let's get all the troops over there. Oh, they just hired some more. 
Maybe calling me into this war was not a good idea. Maybe. Are you sure they're hiring trips and not getting event spawn trips? Oh, they are hired. How did they have that much money? And how are they not losing more money? I don't know. Who the hell have they hired? Maybe they're like holy trips or something. Oh, that's what I was wondering. Unless their monthly balance just hasn't updated yet. Well, my trips are on the way over. They did hire that because I joined. Or if they were just going to do it anyway. Right. My vassal, vassal Cardinal Radagar of Nice. I'm giving a thing in the thingy of thingies. Ah, he's now the preferatus. Friggin' excellent. Nice. Do we have someone else in this war? Pisa. Did Don't my wife join? How did you call them in? No, that's not my uh, wife. You're allied he's to my them. Mother in law. Right. They just assault these ones, you think? Uh, probably. Oops, he said smacking the thing. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, well, they're just gonna t they're, they'll just tick. You get you'll get them in less than a month. So it depends how many. If nah, no, I wouldn't have assaulted that. That's a little few too many. Well, you, you outnumber them ten to one, so maybe. Point is, you're you're getting them pretty quick anyway. Attrition can be bad in these far-flung wars. Mm -hmm. So, right. who are you wanting to crusade for? Yeah, crusade against, you mean? Yeah. I would go for the big, the biggest, biggest, baddest in the room, the Arabian Empire. I thought you said it was only kingdoms. Oh, you can only do it for kingdom titles. Yes. Right. You can only grab one of their kingdom titles, sorry. Do you want to move your troops in? Uh, yeah, sorry, I was waiting for the other guys to stack up. But yeah, I'll... okay. I, I might not... You might not want to move to turn me. I'm going a different way, don't worry. Ooh, okay, hang on a minute. Paldo is no longer participant in the Serbian war for Count Cooper's claim on Wallachia, as his liege did rest settling during the Kincaid prepared invasion of Bulgaria as a defender. What? I think I got pulled out of your war somehow. He said the war ended, but it's still going. Um, hold on a minute. I can rejoin your war if you like. Okay, yeah, that'd be good. I have no idea what happened there. The question is, do we want to try and stomp these guys in Turnu? Uh, sure. Well, I mean, they'll get reinforced, so they'll have 7,000 to our more than 7,000, I think. Yeah, we'll kill them. Let me just make sure I've got commanders on all of my things. So our king, or our emperor, is... 
an idiot. Helping with some prepared invasion. Yeah, he's on, he's on the side of the Duke of Wallachia in another war. Ah, that'll be why then. That'll be why I'm I got pulled confused. out. But I don't know how your thing is still going ahead then. Because we should, <laughs> in theory, know. then be hostile to our liege's troops. Which is yeah. presumably what it was trying to avoid. I think that was a bug. Because it did say it was ended. Inconclusively, a cast is no longer valid. Yeah, so maybe I'll end at the tick of the month or something and I'll be super happy. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here. Well, I'll take a note of the time if we want to call this a highlight. Um, maybe oh, drop yeah, a link. I forgot about that. Ah, I mean, so did I. <laughs> um, maybe just post about it at the Paradox forums because... Yeah, if you're at war with someone and then your liege joins a war on their side, in theory, you shouldn't be at war. That should that should override your war. Yeah. I would have thought, just thinking about it out loud. I don't know if that makes sense from a game mechanics point of view, but that's that's how it would work out in my head anyway. It doesn't really make sense for someone's vassal to be at war with someone. Are there... Or, uh, I don't know. What? Oh, right, that's fine. I, I thought I got to the job Magistros, but no, that's my son-in-law. Oh. He's the Magistros of somewhere or other, which I presume means steward in Greek. Faction disbanded, Catching it fine. A war you are not part of ends. Okay, fine. All right, well, let's hope this... Whoa, there we oh, go. Oh, there it goes. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, look at it this way. They're going to have to pay for troops that they no longer need. They'll have to dismiss them, then they won't have the money. Um, so they, when, once this war that our liege is part of is over, you can then declare war on them unfettered. Yeah, well, I might just declare... In the, okay, no, he's got quite a lot of troops. I'm gonna march my armies home and disband them. But I think I think despite the slight delay it will work out. I mean in theory yeah. you could you could hasten this war by oh, I don't know if you could join that war actually. No, no, no I can't. But never mind. Point is I don't know. Point is, once that war is done, and it looks like we'll win, um, the people you'll be fighting it will be even weaker, and it'll be an even quicker war. If it's of any comfort. Crusade for Jerusalem. Okay, right. Shall we do that then? Yeah, do you want to, will we save it there and, and do that next time? Sure. Now, the other question that we should decide in advance of next time is uh, who's, <laughs> like, it'll, it'll be whoever has the highest war contribution, but who gets, who gets it? Mm. Yeah. Um, now, what we could do is whoever gets it just grants it independence. Yeah. Gives it, or, well... If if we basically if we give it to anyone, they will automatically be independent because it'd be the same tier as uh, as our own title. It's something it's something we could think about, or we could just eat both of us set foot there and then go home and get the crusader thing. But it seems a, it seems a shame to like waste it on not winning. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll fig figure it out. It might not even win the war. <laughs> I suppose that is possible, yeah. 
Yeah, I do, well, we never know who's who's bizarrely going to like jump in. Like the Byzantine Empire is on the side of the Manichaeans or whatever they are. Mm. Weird stuff. Weirder stuff has happened. <laughs>